Hello, 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 it's Bordy Zoo here, and I just wanted to do a quick video regarding this new Street Fighter collaboration event. I've had a few private messages and a few people ask me various aspects of this event, so I just want to quickly go through it. First and foremost, the most important bit I think is obviously the ruins. Um, I've always had quite a bugbear on people telling you what ruins you should and shouldn't be crafting. Now, the ruins you craft, I would recommend you're looking for for speed in your substats, whatever you're doing, unless you're maybe building a Leo, but that'd be like a kind of one-off. But really, my point would be, you've got to look at your monster box, look at the monsters that work best for you and that need upgrading. So for instance, if you've got a Bastet and you like to cleave, but your slot six hit point swift, is only 15 speed or 12 speed and you need to upgrade it then you put your swift hit point slot six pretty plain and simple same with a nuka if you've got a nuka that you're wanting to run with a bastet or a megan or whomever you've got a lushan and he's not quite fast enough you're not running if you're on a fast lushan rather than a fat lushan or for instance uh, an alicia or a zaros or whoever you're running you might need a rage critical, critical damage slot four so you can get that speed roll. You might need an attack rage slot six. You might need a swift attack slot six. Just look at your own monster box. Look at what you need. Don't be going asking the community what's the best two I should be using. They won't know your monsters. They won't need what you need. To, they won't know what you need to prioritize. They'll just go, oh, slot six fire or hit point or whatever. And although it's not a really bad suggestion, you really need to look at your box to see what it is you really need at the moment and what is going to benefit your game right now for me my nukes need to be faster especially for rta so for me i'm going to go will critical damage and i'm going to go swift attack slot six so i can get a critical so i can get a swift wheel set on one of my nukes in rta because that's my main focus now and make one of my monsters maybe 10 faster which would be fantastic if i could do so so that's personally where I am at the game and for me it is RTA based now um, for others you it's going to be based for all different reasons so please look at your box look what you need and, and work from there right that's that now that aside um, some people are getting a little bit confused with these um, bonus points now as you'll see as the days are going by we're getting dungeons come up the four Street Fighter Cloud Monsters dungeons. Now you can only enter this dungeon once. The only way you can enter this dungeon more than once is to try and better the level you're already at. So say you do it and you finish on level eight. If you go back in, you can only collect a few more fighter points if you make it past nine or you make it to the end of 10. So don't keep running it thinking that you'll get more fighter seals or fighter coins, you won't. So you've just got to, you can go in them once each day and collect the collect the um, coins each day. So do the four dungeons each day. Now where these points are used, because I've had like three people ask me here, is at the bottom. You scroll right down to the Delcine bit, right at the bottom here, all the way down to Delcine's secret shop. This is where the fighter coins are used. As you'll see, you'll save up, and for a thousand, you'll be able to get a Street Fighter scroll, and for five hundred, you'll be able to get a Devil. My first interest will be the Devilman. That is the most interesting thing for me. I will get that first and foremost. So I'll get the Devil and then I might save up to get the scroll. I might not, I'll see. But that is what happens. You get the coins each day and the bottom of the vent page here on the Dale Seams bit is where you put them to use. So I hope that clears that up for a couple of you guys. Other than that, the points you accumulate each day is, is just simply through some of the monsters and using energy. Um, you can use as much as you want in a day, there's no 500 cap or anything. As you can see, I've already used two and a half thousand. I've been at it quite a lot today. I've already at my first um, ruin craft here, my real, real critical damage, I'll obviously roll it and roll it. And when I finish rolling that, I'll move on to my second one. And then I will you know, carry on. It's, it's quite a long event. You've got plenty of time to do it. As you can see, we'll go, we'll scroll back up to the top. There is 33 days left, over a month to still complete this event. Do not rush 
into collection. I'm going to scroll back down. Do not rush into collecting this. When you see here, you get them perfect substats. For instance, for me, I am looking for speed, crit rate, and hit point, and attack. I'm looking for four very specific things. I'll keep rolling it until I get near perfection on that. And for 33 days in an event, you do not have to be collecting it on day two, three, or four. You can just keep re-rolling it and re-rolling it, or else you'll re-roll them, you'll get them both within a week, and then you've got 30 days left of this event where you can be carrying on re-rolling it until you get them perfect re-rolls. So please don't rush into getting them. Take your time, collect your points. I hope this really helps you guys. Um, if you have any suggestions of any videos you want me to do or whatever, I've had a few more subscribers, thank you very much. I want to continue, continue doing content, but I don't want to make boring content. I don't want to just be making the content. I want to make content that people want to watch. I want suggestions of anything that might help, and that'd be great. Um, I'll be back soon, and I'll do a video. Um, I really do hope that helps you lot out with this event, in case any of you are struggling. So I know a few of you have been messaging me, uh, sort of just wanting it cleared up. So hopefully that should clear it all up for you. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Woody out.